think that turned it off. So if you're familiar with a GoPro, you're going to be familiar with this because it has a very similar layout with your mode button and power button here. And of course you can take uh, pictures and, and navigate menus through here. And you've got your Wi-Fi button. Uh, on the bottom you have a little door and that is your little battery compartment. It comes with two batteries. They are 900 milliamps each. And then you have your power and your uh, HDMI or the mini type, mi micro type. Um, I don't know which one that's actually considered. It's really small. And then you have your SD card uh, slot here. Of course, you have some LED indicators and, and whatnot. So it comes, it's not very pretty, but you know, the mess I've got here, but it comes with the little box here. Um, let's go ahead and hold the power button down. Action camera be unique with the little dots. Looks like a GoPro. It's definitely a GoPro clone. Stuff included for the price, and it's very impressive. The uh, the casing is built very well. I mean, someone who didn't know this wasn't a GoPro um, may not be aware if they just saw this and you showed it to them. You know, the only thing that throws it off is kind of the generic branding of the HD 10 uh, 1080p on the front. But if that wasn't there, or if that was, you know, something else said GoPro, someone that hasn't seen one probably wouldn't know the difference because it has a nice feel, nice look, and it operates really well. Um, I shot a little video just playing around just to get the quality and the uh, microphone, and I took a few photos, try to throw those in, try to fit a lot into a short period of time. We hold down the power button, you can see it fires right up, and... If we hold, uh, keep pushing the mode button, you'll see the mode change on the top left. You have a battery indicator on the bottom, uh, date and time and everything, uh, time stamps. I have all that stuff turned on. This is the 1080p wide setting. If I push the mode button, I've got 12 megapixel wide for the camera, uh, burst mode, uh, time lapse. I got playback, and I can select playback like that. And if I push the Wi-Fi button, I can go back. If I hit the mode button, I can go down and um, select button on the top. I can actually view the different things here. There's two photos, two of two. Like I said, date and time, you know, time stamps, pretty cool. Wi-Fi button takes us back again. Mode button takes us into the next menu, which is set up. Press the top for select. Then you go through here, and if I, every time I push the top button, I'm going to select. The Wi-Fi is going to be back. I can go through and set different things. Video resolution, uh, loop you know loop the video uh, different options for that I can turn on and off the timestamp adjust the exposure uh, adjust the photo resolutions the burst photo mode <coughs> excuse me time lapse you can set the actual settings <coughs> from two seconds up to 60 seconds Wi-Fi button takes us back again Continuous lapse, off and on, we can choose settings on that. Uh, power frequency, language, date and time settings, sound indicators, when it turns on and off, when it goes through a menu, beeps through the menus, uh, upside down in the event you had to mount it a certain way. Uh, screen savers and power timeouts, are all adjustable. Uh, format the thing, reset it to you know the, the stock settings. You have version information here, Action Cam G2, uh, 150616, and of course Wi-Fi again is our back button, our back button again, I didn't push it, I did that time. So, I mean, for the price, this is just, I'm going to go ahead and hold down the power and shut it off. After you've already went into your Wi-Fi settings, and uh, like well, right now I'm connected to my actual... Um, Wi-Fi, but uh, if this thing is on, get it fired up, and turn the Wi-Fi on, waiting for Wi-Fi connection, scan, and it picks up iCam G2, it has the uh, password that you'll log in, which is in the, in the user manual, connecting and connected. So I'm connected to that, Wi-Fi connection ready, I go into the camera app, and there, bam, quick and easy. Alright, so testing the video out, looking at all the different uh, random accessories from handlebar style mounts to clips, 
it has a spring loaded, different adapters and typical things like you find with a GoPro. Even has a frame, so you have an open air frame with uh, both sides actually having the ability to uh, attach to a tripod. You got strap with adjustable uh, buckle, some tripod style mounts, two batteries, some keepers so you can uh, tether this thing, you don't have to lose it, cleaning cloth, waterproof case with the built-in LCD. This thing is pretty, pretty impressive. I've got a Hero 3 and I kind of like this better because it has the actual LCD built in. Um, I guess we'll see how it goes as far as uh, actual video quality and how sensitive the microphone is but a waterproof HD Wi-Fi capable camera <laughs> with LCD already built in that makes it pretty nice assuming it can uh, shoot some high quality video plenty of accessories for the price it's like extremely impressive 